Oh, oh, well, coffee time, friends. How y'all doing? It's coffee time. It's cooking time. It's Southern Sunday lunchtime, and this is peanut green beans. We're going double course today. We're doing two pints of peanuts because I want some leftovers because we're having fried chicken today, and I know there'll be leftovers of that. So we'll use eat a pint, probably give or take, in a um, in a meal. So. This will be a little leftovers we're preparing for tomorrow's lunch and maybe supper, who knows. Mama, tell them what you do to these if you uh, want to because I know you're getting ready to put them on the stove. Uh, I just put salt and baking grease in them. This is peanut beans once they've been canned and you just see me open that last jar up to go in there. And this is bacon drippings. Uh, this is our version of bacon up because this is our very own. One spoon of, One spoon of bacon grease and here's some salt, Mama. Sprinkle you want me to sprinkle it? Yeah, I'll sprinkle it. How much? Quite a bit. We want a good flavor. How, you better tell me a number. Six. Why don't you show us? Here, I'll open it to the open side. Now it's open, so pour it in your hand and show them what you put. Uh, my hands damp. Uh, a teaspoon? Yeah, a good teaspoon. Oh, that's a bunch. I that's have, a lot more I than I would. I have got too much in it after putting it like that. It's going to be my fault either way. I <laughs> if it's too much, rinse them off. She says we will. But no, she'll wait and then she'll say, you made me pour it in my hand. You got too much. Won't you, Mama? That's right. It's my fault, ain't it? That's right. I'm going to take a little bit out anyway. Well, I'm just going to put it. You just need about a half a teaspoon, I think. I'm pinching this out somewhere. She's taking some out. This is her little church key. Now, this plate is when we had some bacon on this morning, and I'm going to use it for a scrap plate. So I have cut the core out right here. This is the core. You don't want the core in your coat saw because it makes it uh, pretty sharp. Makes it pretty strong, especially if you're gonna try to do it the next day. So I'm just gonna slice this up into some cabbage steaks. She's already begrudging what little bit of coat saw was gonna make. That's probably enough, Mama, since you don't want us to have it. I could tell you didn't want us to have it. Cut these potatoes. And I'm just going to cut these up into some little chunks, make them more manageable to throw in the uh, chopper, because I am using the chopper. And today, I'm wanting an extremely fine slaw. I don't want chunky at all. I don't feel like chewing. I don't feel like chewing. That's so <laughs> Sometimes I want fine slaw, and sometimes I want coarse. And I have found I like the course to be a vinegary slaw. Today it's just going to be creamy slaw, okay? So this is the old chopper. We still use him because he's still a good service piece here. The one you get now will be bread. This one was called something else, supersonic something, wasn't it, Mama? Uh. I don't remember. We've always called it the chopper, and that's what got it. Got us in trouble with it. Didn't know the right thing. Yeah, it's a, not a chopper. <laughs> supersonic. Supersonic. Mama's doing a little bit of. Um, what kind of potatoes are those? It's some I raised. You raised them like this, your very own? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. So are they Yukon Gold? Or they just... might be one Yukon Gold in here, this one. Is that enough potatoes, you think? I hope so. That's all you're getting. So they're a mixture. Yep. So what am I allowed to use for coleslaw today, Mama? Whatever you want. Oh, Mama, we all know that ain't right. Yeah. You know, Mama, you'll be telling me which bowl to use. No. No. Oh. I would never do that. You say. Ah. I've got my potatoes cut now. 
I'm going to put a little salt in them and put them on and cook them. That's all I'm going to do to these. See how many we've got. It's a beautiful. Looks like rain today. But Alexa says she's not going to send rain. She says it's going to be no rain. I kept this bowl. Y'all think that's the right one? We're going to find out. I'm unprepared today. Absolutely unprepared. I started this here we are and that's about it that's all the preparation I gave it I'm gonna go get my ingredients y'all hold on just a second I gotta have some red wine vinegar and I gotta have some sugar and I'm gonna have to get some dukes here's your sugar here's your red wine vinegar mom you're the best little one sugar and vinegar and dukes. And I'm going to pull off my sweater and put my apron on. Well, you look awful pretty well, polished. Look at how nice. You look awful nice, Mama. Yeah. <laughs> Them beads. Old timey beads. Red wine vinegar. And I'm going to put about two tablespoons. And I'm going to put a little bit of sugar, white granulated sugar. This is my standard recipe for a lot of dressings. That's about a tablespoon. I'm gonna put about two tablespoons of sugar. Nah, I better put just a little bit more than that. About that right there. And um, last time Mama said, it was good, but you could have used a tinge more sugar. And a little bit more red wine vinegar. And we just want to emulsify this together. We want to break it all down. You're going to be in some chicken fat, right? And I'm going to put a little bit more red wine vinegar because I can tell with the consistency. I want that wine. I'm going for a certain taste today in my code slot. You ever just know what you're craving? Well, I do. I know this is what I'm craving today, is that certain coleslaw blend. And I'm going to capture it, Lord willing. Into here, I'm going to put one tablespoon, two tablespoons, three tablespoons of Dukes. Use whatever kind of mayonnaise you want, or you can even use salad dressing. This is the base for any kind of dressing you really want to make. If you want to turn this into ranch, you could. You could turn this into even blue cheese if you want to. Add you some blue cheese crumbles. This would even be honey and mustard if you want to be honey and mustard. Can't go wrong with it. Let's taste it. Just going to dribble a little bit right there. See if I got that whang I'm looking for. Oh, it's there. It's definitely there. So that's the dressing. Now I told you I wanted fine slaw coming in here. So I'm making it fine. Sometimes I like coarser slaw. Sometimes I only want real fine. And that's what this is going to be. Super fine slaw. Let's put us some more in here. I made it not long ago and I put onions and all that good stuff in it and it was really good. That's not what I'm going for today though. This is Sunday chicken slaw. This is what I want whenever I want that Sunday dinner with a delicious fine slaw. Every time I pull this cord, it's the equivalent of chopping it 12 times with a knife. This could sure make some good kraut in a hurry. Kraut? Yeah. Kraut would be good, Mama. 
You in the mood for some kraut? I don't know. We love us some good kraut. On what kind of carrots you want to use? You want me to do a big one or you got little ones? You just tell me and I'll, I'll get them. You don't have to be jackrabbit and mama. I can take care of a little bit of slaw. Really, since that's the only thing I'm contributing to the whole lunch today. Oh, easy. Okay, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Whatever you say. Let's put that over there. I'm going to use a little bit more cabbage. Because I'm making enough for a couple of days here. Can you tell? I need uh... Ranch. Okay. You can have it, Mama. That's what I'm soaking my chicken in here. Y'all's ranch. You need the Southern Secret too? No. I just put the ranch in my chicken. Are we at a ranch again? We use that stuff no. on everything. I don't think we're out. I've got all my southern secret, all my all my y'all's seasons over here, and I swear it's gonna be the last one. How can it be the last one when it's the one I use the most? It should be on top at all times. Thank you. You're welcome, ma'am. Tell them what you got in your bag and what you got going on, Mama. They've seen me do slime. This well, is chicken tenders I've cut up. It was chicken breast, and I cut them in long strips for tenders. And all I've got in here is the ranch and uh, buttermilk. So I'm putting pepper and salt and ranch in my flour. And I'm going to put some salt on my chicken as I take it up. I mean, put it in here. As you, no, Mama, you confused me. Take it up. Take it out of the bag. To oh, okay. I thought when you, after you fry chicken, you're going to salt it, are you? Oh, ooh, the fans are blowing my spices up. I'm going to go over here close to the skillet to do it because that's all I'm going to do is just dredge it in here and put it in the pot. Now, how have you had it marinated, Mama? Uh, I put it in there this morning, really. I don't remember what time to you. Oh, is that, is that what you said this morning with that baggie? Yeah. And I it's probably about 8.30. I've got a cup of flour and two tablespoons of cornstarch that you see me put salt and pepper and the ranch in here. We're your new viewers and we're so glad to have new people joining us. Um, Mama puts a little bit of cornstarch in there and it keeps the goodie on the meat or the vegetable or whatever you're breading. So as you mix your flour, you put about a tablespoon or, or better of cornstarch and then it holds it to, you don't have to roll it in the head, you just add it to your flour. And it'll hold all your breading on your okra or on your chicken or on your livers or pork chops, whatever you're doing. It makes a big difference. Um, because nobody wants to have a pork chop or a piece of chicken and all the goodies fell off in the skillet. and It just ain't the same. It's still good, but it ain't the same. not the same at all. Now that's a pile of slaw. Wow, wow, look at the slaw. I'm going to get in trouble. I want some good slaw. I want some good slaw, some good green beans. How long has it been since you fed me, Mama? Oh, probably about a week. About a week. We've been too busy to eat. We've been too busy cooking to eat. Now, ain't that something? Now, we ain't having carrot slaw. I'm going to put these in there. These have been washed and put back in this baggie, which probably didn't clean them very good if you wash them and put them back. This could be noisy.
carrot juice, anyone? So, done it separately. Y'all be my witness. I'm just going to put just enough. Just enough, folks. No, this whisk don't work as good as the spatula. Okay, so we are taking notes. But it will work good to mix it. Because some of it will fall through there. It will allow that dressing to come up. I'm going to put a little pepper, black pepper, and a little salt. It's black pepper. I could have ground some salt, but I didn't. Let's mix, mix, mix. Now, for all you who thought I put too much dressing in there, some of you are out there. I didn't. I didn't. When you're making fine slaw, it'll mix in pretty good, and it's not too watery. And this bowl is tapered on the bottom, so it looked like a lot in there. But you got to know your bowl, know what you're working with. In fact, it could use another little dollop of Dukes, but I'll leave it and see if it that cabbage gets a little watery because sometimes it does. I love coleslaw in club crackers. See, that's perfectly good. There's, it's not too wet. It's just right. Um, but it'll taste good and we'll see what it looks like when we get ready to eat it whether maybe it needs a, another little stir of a little dab of dukes well let's clean it up just a tinge here it needs it I've kind of whoo mama would be so mad if I tried to take that to church or something don't you be taking that dirty looking stuff out there for me one of my bowls. Would you, Mama? Yeah. You have to clean the rim of the inside of the bowl down to the food with a clean napkin or something so it looks presentable. And poke in the middle and it's sealed. Alright, let's clean up our mess because the chopper has been here. Sugar, red wine vinegar, go in the same cabinet by design because we use those a lot together. This little bit of cabbage, I'll put him in a, a, a Tupperware bowl. He's still good, but the core, I'm going to throw that away. I'm going to clean off this right here. Mama, do I have any more chores? Uh, you mean you're going to make me up some? Oh, the, that goes without saying. You want me to do gravy? Are you going to do gravy? Or? Oh. I can do gravy too. Is gravy going to be homemade or is it going to be a packet? No, what you said, Mama. What, I'm sure you didn't get it planned out. No. You know, last night we didn't know what we was going to make. And I threw about 12 to six, uh, uh, choices out. And Mama didn't say a word. And I thought, well, she'll pick one of them. And then before we went to bed, I said, do you say what we're going to have for Southern Sunday lunch tomorrow? And she said, I'm having chicken. <laughs> <laughs> didn't you, Mama? Yeah. And that was not one of my 12 suggestions. I really didn't have 12. I guess I really had about five because I was thinking of all the favorites that I wanted and I was thinking 
you know, goulash might be good, but it could be a pretty day, but you can eat goulash on a pretty day. I thought about pork chops. I thought about, um, what was that other thing I said, Mama? And you vetoed it quick. Oh, kielbasa sausage. Cabbage. Mm, that was a good one. I'm going to do a, Lord willing, I'm going to do a low southern boil without shrimp one night. Because Mama don't like shrimp. Unless I did when Mama wasn't here and I did put shrimp in it. It's quick and easy. It's not the original and it's just a quick version we do. It just basically kielbasa sausage, potatoes, um, cabbage, and I like to put a little tomato in mine, and then the corn. And you could put shrimp, but Mama don't like shrimp. A piece of cabbage had flung all the way over there. That cabbage is dangerous. Cause I'll get out. All right, let's see what you see. I'm back to watching people. I don't know. D does anybody know why I'm back to see? I've got some comments up there. I love to put blue cheese and crumbles in. Oh yeah, Terry would be good. Good afternoon, John and Mama from Lisa. Oh, comments are back. It says good afternoon, John and Mama. Hope your day is amazing. You to Nancy. Good afternoon, John and Mama. Hope your day. Oh, that was Nancy. She come back down there. Hey, Mama. LOL. Connie says, John and Mama, please keep me in your prayers. I have been dealing with a pinch. Oh, a sciatic nerve. Angela, so we will. Everybody remember Angela. She's got a pinch sciatic nerve. If you ever dealt anything with a sciatic nerve, you know what pain that is. Hi from California. Hey, Lisa. How are you? I'm making homemade vegetable beef soup and cornbread, Terry Davis. Terry, that was one of my five suggestions was beef soup, beef vegetable soup and cornbread muffins. Mama said we just had that. Did we just have that? We had some kind of soup. Mama said we've just had soup two or three times. I ain't wanting no more soup. Oh, we had that split beef soup. Split, split pea soup. Split pea. I don't think we had any vegetable, did we? Uh, Jabber says, Cabbage, onions, and potatoes is kielbasa sausage. is the best. Isn't it wonderful? Cabbage and onions, potatoes. I put a little tomatoes in it and a little bit of corn. Uh, good afternoon, John and Mama from Bridge, Bridgeville. Cheryl, is that where it is? Blue cheese is nasty. It smells terrible. <laughs> Pam, it, yeah, I can get that, but I like it. I know. Hi, John and Mama. Hey, Natalie. How are you? Who's come back down here? Nate, uh, Nita. I love fried chicken. Hello from Charlotte, North Carolina. Well, hello, Bonnie. Bonnie, you're just right sideways. I swore just one like one big state, really. Hello, John and Mama. Hey, Rhonda. Hey, Rhonda Harris. How are you? I got two Rhondas in a row and a Kathy. Hey, Kathy. Uh, is that Dreamer? Dream of Tucker. Hey, John and Mama. From Almost Heaven, West Virginia. Oh, wow. Almost Heaven. What a neat name. Hey, Linda. Add potato soup, John. Oh, on my list of soups. I love potato Oh, we have potato soup. Thank you, Linda. Mama, we have potato soup. Yeah. Thank you, Linda, for keeping up with us because me and Mama and either one do a good job of it. I'm fixing cabbage with hamburger, melted cheese, and casserole. Pam, that is good. We do that sometimes. But you reminded me of it again. I'll have to try to make that for long. Making white beans and biscuits. Ooh, Karen. Lots of so lots of soups lately. Listen to your mama. Oh, Melody. If we had too many soups, I'm in a soup notion. Chili soup, those kind of things. I haven't had a good bowl of vegetable soup this year. Like one of Mama's mm -mm -mm good vegetable soups. And I'm kind of wanting some. Maybe next week. Can we do soup next week and not be too many soups? Let's see what Mama's doing. I want y'all to see her over there. She's concentrating. 
No, did you hear her? No. Mama's fixing my corn right now that I was going to use for my low soap. I'm not my low bowl. You gonna let me use some too? Yeah. Do you want me to do that, Mama? No. Set them. Let me have them. I'll cut them. Here. I didn't know you was doing that. I was gonna cut a couple of years. Are you gonna cut the corn off? Yeah. Well, let me have it. I'll take care of that for you. Oh, I'll take care. Mess it up. Afraid of what? Get cut. Get cut. You mean mess it up? Yeah. Here, I'll do it. I'm just going to cut these off. Well, let me cut them off for you. Watch her. Watch her. Watch her. Show them, Mama, your hard head. <laughs> it's hard. Show them that hard head. I'm going to beat you to death. <laughs> Can't Sh cut that off. Show them that hard head, Mama. Let me, I have to get your skillet to put that in. She's afraid I'll get cut. Well, you don't shave my box like I do. I shave it three times. Now the I truth comes it. out. Shave you it. don't do it as good as I do. That's what she just said. I shaved it twice. And then now she may be afraid I'll get cut because I'm dangerous. But the reason she don't want me to do it is because she says I don't do it like she does it. Even though. I've been watching her do it my whole life and I know exactly how she does it. This is what is called around here, and I'm sure it's got a name where you're from. This is called peaches and cream. See, it's got different colors, and I guess that's the cream, and this is the peach color. But it's called peaches and cream corn on the cob. This wasn't even on the menu. This was a mama afterthought. Well, not mama. So, do you want me to cut this off for you or just prep it for you? I've got it prepped. I just have to shave it off. Okay, okay. I may get in trouble. Who knows? I've been in trouble before. Now, I'm going to show you how Mama cuts it. There's a very deliberate way she does it. And it's for a very good reason. So you don't cut yourself. This is the way that we cut our corn off. Got the bow. Come right down here. You don't have to see me. You can see the corn. You hold your wrist down. You bring your corn cob like this. And you cut it. And you don't cut to the bottom. You only shave the top off. Just pretend like you're trying to smooth it out and get all the little niblets. All the little top parts of the corn. Okay? Now when you hold your hand there like that, if your knife slips, it would go on up. And then it could cut your ear off. But that's separate. Okay, so then you just hold it like this and you keep cutting the little niblets off. Just like that, all the way around. It ain't a clean job. Cut the tops off only. And you pull it up toward you like this. It gives you better control of your knife and your corn cob. And it can get slippery. But this is the best way to keep from cutting yourself some way. Now once you get all that cut off, you go around it again. My mom got corn all over me. And you cut a little deeper. You're getting that second layer. Just like this. And you do that all the way around your corn. Getting that second layer of corn. Put the camera on me, I'll show them. <laughs> Put the camera on me. 
Write it down, folks. This is the first time she's ever said that. I can show them, There you go. The expert has arrived. You show them, Mama. Now you heard her say that. Put the camera on me. I love that, Mama. I do. I've been trying to get you to not be so camera shy. Even though you're doing exactly like you've always told me to do it. Tell them. Talk, Mama. <laughs> I can't talk and work. Talk, Mama. That's what you're demoing. Get to talking. This, this is my second layer around. Then I turn it up. And do what? Scrape it down. Scrape it down. Because now you're milking all the juice, all the milk out of the cup. Aren't you, Mom? Yeah. Slide it like this at an angle. And just do it with your knife. That gets all that juicy, sweet milk out of it. Then you turn your cob over and you do it the other way. Now I'm going to put another little thin layer. It's just cream style. So when you get through it, your cob should look like that. Not a speck left. Now I'm going to go take a shower and I'll be right back. Oh, yeah. uh -huh. Corn is not an easy prep. You're doing a bunch of dozens, are they, Mama? No, it's time to send me. And sticky. The starch is in it makes it sticky. And sticky. Sticky, sticky. And now all I'm going to do is I'm going to cook this in the microwave. I'm going to put it in that bowl and put a little butter and salt and a speck of sugar. I like it sweeter. Some people like meat grease in it and it's like fun. But we never have eat it. The uh, filled corn I have, but not the sweet corn. My, dad, my, glasses. my daddy raised hickory cane, and we put uh, the ladder, Mom. raised hickory cane. We put grease in it a lot of times. So, I like celery slices. This is impossible. There we go, and all I'm going to do is. Put a little butter and sugar and salt in here and stick it in the microwave for us to have for dinner. You left them, Mama? Yeah, you go back over and see it. I was going to bring over here and show them this chicken. She'll throw that right there off. I can't see all these glasses, though. If you want to mess your glasses up so you can't see nothing, then I recommend cut some corn off the cob. You won't be able to see a thing either. Put my handy dandy Tupperware glass cleaners. Wipe all that away. Uh huh. I can see. Let's go over here to the stove. Let's go over here and see what Mama is up to in the chicken department. That's some golden chicken, y'all. That is some golden, delicious, perfectly brown chicken. And there's the potatoes. And there's them green beans done ready. What's that back there, Mama? That's the... I had an extra chicken breast, and I cut it up and cooked you some chicken. Oh, I love cooked chicken. So instead of trying to fry it all up, it's going to 
Okay. This chicken ready to come up, Mama? Let's check our tent. Well, it's coming up awful slow. What do we have to get to? Well, we may eat this chicken tomorrow. It's at 102. And I've got a steam bath going over here under these potatoes. My arm's 202, and my chicken is 96, 97. Okay. Woo, my arm feels better off after getting over that potato steam. So there's the corn going in the microwave with a little bit of plastic wrap on top. You gonna put that butter in there? I put butter in it. You putting in cream? No, I'm not there. All right, slow poke chicken. Mama, this thing's turned or something. Yeah, it's I'll turn it. It's going to set this up. Ooh. I know it has to be done along that side. Well, yeah. It's about burned it. Yeah. And it's uh, 95 degrees. See so what it is now. Well, how many minutes? Here, tip your own chicken. I can't get it to get hot. It'll get hotter for you. It'll be hotter for you. What is it? Now, see that chicken ain't going to go to 180? It'll be two weeks before we'll be able to eat that chicken. Them taters is done. Yeah, they done. Because they're tender as your eyeball. Green beans is done. Cooked chicken's done. That fried chicken's giving us trouble, though. All right, Mama. What kind of plates you gonna eat out of? Well, I got you messed up. Now I gotta get you back on your seat. Okay, that. Corn is good, but it sure does cause a mess. Are you eating raw corn? I'm not eating raw. Corn. No, mom, I'm not eating raw corn. I'm trying to clean up this raw corn mess. I thought you said that corn was good. I said that corn sure is a mess. Oh. She thinks I'm over eating raw corn. I was getting worried about you. She think I was a a, a puppy. Puppy sweet raw corn. Let's clean up this sugary mess. Corn is also sweet. I thought we dealt with all the sweet we was going to deal with them pears. I tell you what, I cleaned pears for ever yesterday. Day before yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. Every time I turn around, there's a sick, sticky spot. Something sticky amongst us here. And it was pear jelly. Pear juice. Pear juice. Now it's corn juice. 
But I sure will miss this come February. All this garden stuff. It is sweet and juicy. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Delicious. Oh, well. Everything has a season, folks. Even us. Let's enjoy our seasons. Come over here just to scunch. Look at that halo again, that mirror. Isn't it funny how a mirror will pick up your halo when you're just an angel? It could be that light, though. <laughs> Mama might argue that I'm not an angel. Would you, Mama? Now, look at our coat saw. So we left it alone, and it got kind of juicy. See that? See the juice coming up in it? That's because um, cabbage is a lot of water, and um, I don't think we're going to have to add any more salad dressing to it. I believe it's just ready to be just right for eat. I'm looking for a certain spoon, but I can't find one, so I'll use this one. Well, I'm going to put a little dab, and I'm going to show you the difference. See how it kind of looks a little dry? Let's put just another little bit of Duke's. If you want to top it off with a creamy look and a creamy feel for for lunch, even though you got a little water in there, go ahead and put your Dukes or your your favorite in there, and then just give it a whirl, and instantly you'll have creamier looking coleslaw. Yeah, I don't know why that little bit of mayonnaise changes it so much, but it does. See how much creamier it looks. Now I know people who put milk in theirs. I don't want milk if I can keep from it. I think they did at the kernel. But see now it's that much more creamy. So that's just perfect. We'll set that right over there. And I'm going to clean up our mess here. I'm going to step right over there. I'm showing you all the count. I didn't mean to leave you. It's hanging down there. I'm going to step over here and get us some plates and we'll set the table. And Mama's, Mama's that chicken hot? Yeah. Yeah. She put the lid on it, made it hotter. Seems like it takes forever to get some good chicken hot for me. And that's the reason a lot of people don't like to food with fried chicken, because you don't want to burn it, but you want it hot. you got to be done. The lid helps, because it keeps that heat in there, and it heats everything in there up that much quicker. But y'all hold on just a second. I'll let you just watch Mama. Don't tell her. Since we're watching her. Mama? Be good. And uh, I'll be right back. I need some plates. Mama, are you going to sing? No. You ain't going to sing a song? All listening. Look at all this right here. All this has got to be cleaned. All this has to be cleaned out from here. Put the shake, shake, chop, chopper right over there. I'm gonna put this Duke's. Right over here before it gets hot. I'm gonna put this into the garbage. Church 
key goes over there. That's what they call these kind of openers, a church key. Can y'all see it? The kind that you do I this? I gotta have some crane open too. You want me to go get the crane? I'll get it. In just no, I'll go get it. I know right where, there in the corner. I know where you keep your crane. I'm putting these Where's other the chicken crisps. I'm joking. I'm joking, Mom. I know where you keep the cream. Put those other three pieces of chicken tender in there. Okay. I've washed the cream. Let's open the cream and get ready for serious potato mashing. Now when we open a can of cream, I know some people take the top off. We use it as a church key thing. And we just poke a hole in it like this. Now my aunt done it the opposite way and she would do it this way and she'd pound down it that way isn't it funny how you get used to doing different things hers always just had a little hole up next to the rim we always had two big triangles like that how do you do yours that's ours do you just do the little hoe or do you do the triangle hoe? I think we've always done the triangle hoe. Yeah. But Mama's sister always done the other way. We used to open them with a knife and it used to just have a little slit in it. That's got butter. But do you done mash them, Mom? No, they ain't finished. Oh, you got this old crazy masher out too. trying to mess up my rhythm. Mama, these look like mashed with oh there's like concrete though. What did you have in here? Just the salt and the potatoes and butter. I have no pepper. And this old mix this old um, masher that we used for a hundred years, now it seems Oh that's not a hundred years. Now it seems cumbersome because I'm used to that other one. I'm not used to having, I'm used to that one that goes all the way around the edge. It's, you got me used to the nice stuff, Mama, and now you switch back to the old timey ways. Well, that other was over there, and I had to get in a hurry. You never have given one to me that mash before. Well, I was working on them, I run out of cream. Okay. Now I'm having to fry three more pieces of chicken. These are looking perfect. You know, when they look perfect, you add a little bit more cream, a little bit more evaporated milk, make them a little soupier, so they'll be eating ready in a minute. And that's what we want them to be, that creamy and delicious when they're ready to eat. These are doing pretty good. So by the time we get ready to eat, these will have creamed up to perfection. My glasses are catching everything coming and going today. I got one little drop of potato on them. How did I do that? Mama, you stole the dish rag. Yeah, stole the dish rag. I did. Yeah, you did. And I've got my coffee stuck over here. There you go, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Oh, it's getting hot now. See that butter made it juicy and saw me corn on it. Oh, wow, look here. Look at all that juice in there. Beautiful. And we you all just watched us do that. Just a second ago there's that well, fried I chicken. I don't think we need no gravy because we got corn and potatoes and chicken. Okay. 
and coleslaw. And no bread today. Oh, cornbread would be so good. I heard you. Me too, me too. But you know what? We've had our bread quotas this week. We had dressing. We've had dressing and we had cornbread. At the church dinner. And so now, Mama, you'll want this. I would probably use this as a scooper because I'm fancy like that. I'm fancy like that. I'll just use the masher sometime and glob them out. But Mama won't. Mama says, uh uh. It makes her mad when I do it. Don't it? I thought it was being fancy. I'm just taking a Mama. Right here is the chicken. That's fresh chicken going in. She had them three pieces. We ain't gonna make ends wait for that stuff to get hot. It'll be next week. We're gonna pray and we're gonna have this wonderful meal. We got peach tea, y'all. Sweet tea, peach tea. Now, I think the little bird, little birdie said tomorrow they're going to have it again. Get up in the morning and get it ordered. It's tomorrow 23rd? It is. That's when they're supposed to have more peach tea, more raspberry tea. 8 Central. I'd get up at 8 Eastern. I want some of that too. I got coffee, but look here. Oh, I've been waiting. I've been thirsty. I'd like to have it right through. You could have had one, Mama. I didn't have time. Mm. It's delicious, y'all. It's delicious. A little butterfly, would you like? Yeah, I definitely was to eat, not have nothing to drink. Oh, you're always on top of it, Mama. Let's push this up here where you can see us. Ooh. You ready to bless it, Mama? I sure am. Let's bless it. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this wonderful meal. We thank you for these precious hands that prepared it, dear Lord. And we always pray for the nourishment of our bodies with it. And dear Lord, we just ask you to be with the sick and the, the those that are injured and hurt and the special prayer requests that came through just while we were on here, dear Lord. Just pray that you'll answer each and every need and each and every drag each and every tear. So be with our world, be with our nation, be with Israel, be with all the countries, dear Lord. We just pray that you'll watch over us, lead, guide, and direct us as only you can do. In your precious name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, Mama. Let's start. Oh, I've got to have this first. <laughs> got to have them mashed taters, too. Oh, this is so good. Oh. Did you think when you was a little girl you'd ever be sitting around drinking peach tea right here in East Tennessee? No, I've always just drunk. We just had plain old tea. When plain I, old tea, wasn't it? Plain, well, Lipton's tea. When we started, when when Sweet Tea first contacted us, when y'all Sweet Tea, I tell Mama, I said, they were, they'd ask if we would... Uh, Wait a minute, I'm not going to do Huh? And I said, they've asked if they can send us some tea. And try, she said, well, I'll try it, but I won't. I won't switch. I said, you won't switch? And she said, no, I've always drunk my Lipton tea. And they ain't going to do nothing no different. I said, okay, I understand. We'll just try it, Mama. We'll just try it. And I can honestly tell you, y'all sweet tea is the only thing we've had since then. Mama absolutely loves it. I love it. We wouldn't say we loved it if we didn't. Trust me, we have all kinds of people asking us to try their product, sponsor their product, and all that stuff. Um, I was so thirsty that that just tastes wonderful. But this is all we've had since. 
And Mama swore she had never laid lift into it anymore. Yeah. But you did. I drank it all my life. It's so good. This is so good. It's just a whole, totally different blend. Little chicken, chicken, chicken. And big old breast. I cut them three or four times. And Let's try this chicken. A little brown. I like the crunchy brown, though. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's good. I can taste the ranch the in ranch it. All in it. Now, it's soaked for, well, from, what, about eight something to... Whenever we took it out of the bag. It's absolutely delicious. Look at that. It's tender. It's juicy. Let's try this delicious corn, Mama. It's good. You didn't try it? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. It is. And these peanut beans. Delicious. Did you try the cold slaw? No. Corn and beans and potatoes. See if I captured the right Cindy slaw. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you got the tang to it. Good. This is what we call Cindy slaw. Mm. I did it. The only thing. Uh-oh. Piece of cornbread. Oh, yeah. We miss the cornbread, don't we, Mama? Yeah, it would be all so good with it. But mm. when your A1C says you're doing such a good job, you can't go back on it, can you, Mama? I could sneak back on it. <laughs> Mama. Cornbread every once in a while ain't going to hurt you. No. It's that every once in a while we gotta get the hang up. And I think we're doing good. We are doing pretty good. I'm Considering. Good. We used to have a three times a week pound cornbread oh, pound Lord. habit. If I cook the meal, I cook cornbread. Mm -hmm. If I fix soup, I fix cornbread. <laughs> Chili. Cornbread. But now, we do have it occasionally and it's special. We're trying to cut out the breads. All that cornbread we baked the other night, or the other day for that dinner. I didn't need a piece of bread. I did. That's what I had for breakfast. But I sure did have some dressing, a lot of dressing. Yeah, we had a lot of dressing. I didn't need as much dressing, but I liked the dressing. But I had that one little piece, and you could see that little Pac-Man piece that I had for breakfast. I mean, it was hot cornbread, people. I wouldn't turn that down. Especially when I was hungry. I bet you put butter on it, too. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. I know you did. There's nothing no better than a hot piece of bread with butter. I did put about half as much butter as I did, normally do. Well, that was Do I get good. credit for that? Mm-hmm. That's good. I'm right, cutting yours off with a knife. I'm just eating them with my fingers. <laughs> All right, Mama, let's say goodbye and let them go so they can enjoy their evening. It's 2.43, y'all three with Ooh, lunch. it's that late. Yes, Mama, it's late. What happened to us? We stayed at church longer. Oh, how do you say Say goodbye, Mama, and we'll let them go. <laughs> oh, goodbye, Mama. God bless you. Bye-bye. Y'all have a blessed night. Blessed day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.